This video looks at changing hours and minutes to decimal time and then using that to calculate distance and speed using our distance speed time formula. So to recap, half an hour equals 0 0.5 hours, a quarter of an hour equals 0 0.25 hours and three quarters of an hour equals 0 0.75 hours. But the rule is to change minutes to a decimal fraction we divide by 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour, not 100. So we're going to write this time as a decimal fraction. We've got 36 minutes. So we're going to take that 36 minutes, we're going to divide it by 60, or we're going to put it as a fraction over 60, which means 36 divided by 60, and that equals 0 0.6, and our unit will be hours because we've made it a decimal fraction out of an hour. In this one, we want to change 3 hours and 24 minutes into a decimal fraction. So we need to isolate our hours and then add on our minutes changed into a decimal fraction. So it's 3 plus 24 over 60. And that equals 3 plus 24 divided by 60. And applying baud mass, we need to do the 24 divided by 60 first. So it's 3 plus 0 0.4 which gives us 3.4 hours as our decimal fraction for 3 hours 24. In this example, a high-speed train travels from Hamburg to Munich in Germany. The train leaves at 22.18 and travels at an average speed of 140 km per hour. If the train arrives in Munich at 4 o'clock the following morning, find the distance it travels. So we're looking for distance. So if we go to our distance speed time triangle, Distance equals speed multiplied by time. So you can see that we've got the speed as part of the question. So we're looking for distance. The speed is 140 kilometers per hour. And we need to work out what the time interval is between 2218 and 0400 the following morning. So we're going to use a timeline to do that got 2218 at the start of the timeline and we've got four o'clock the next morning at the other end of our timeline. So we need to go through midnight because it's the following day and we need to find the nearest hour to 2218 which is 2300 hours. So working backwards there's four hours between midnight and four o'clock in the morning there's one hour between 11 o'clock in the evening and midnight. And there are 42 minutes between 2218 and 2300 hours. So we're going to add them together. That gives us a total of 5 hours and 42 minutes. We need to change that into decimal time before we can use our distance equals speed times time formula. And we do that by 5 plus 42 divided by 60 which is 5 plus 0 0.7, giving us 5.7 hours as our decimal time. Now we need to write our formula. We've got distance equals speed times time. And we substitute in 140 kilometers per hour as our speed, multiplied by 5.7 hours as our time. And that gives us a total of 798, and our unit of distance is kilometers for this question. In our next example, an aircraft flies a distance of 1,331 miles in 3 hours and 40 minutes and we want to calculate the average speed. So speed equals distance divided by time. So we're trying to work out speed. That's our unknown. The distance is 1,331 miles and our time is 3 hours and 40 minutes. Now we need to change that into decimal time, so we're going to do 3 plus 40 divided by 60, and that gives us 3 plus 0 0.6 recurring, because 40 over 60 is the same as 2 thirds if we simplify the fraction, and that gives us 3.666 recurring. Now make sure you don't round at this stage, because it will change your answer you need to make sure that you use your answer button on your calculator. And the unit for that time is hours. So we're going to write down our formula. 
speed equals distance over time and that is 1331 over 3.666 recurring. Remember use your answer button and your final answer is going to be 363 and our speed is in miles per hour.